Imagine an ocean teeming with life 400 million years before dinosaurs roamed Earth. Among its inhabitants, Drotops armatus, a armored predator whose legacy is etched in stone. Welcome to the deserts of Alnif, Morocco, a treasure trove of ancient secrets. Today, we'll unearth the story of one of Earth's most fascinating creatures and the fossils that make Morocco a paleontological paradise. Meet Drotops armatus, a trilobite that ruled the Devonian seas. Stretching up to 12 inches, this arthropod boasted a spiny exoskeleton for defense and compound eyes rivaling modern insects, but what sets Drotops apart? Its formidable spines, possibly used to deter predators like nautiloids. These tanks of the trilobite world were so successful, they've become index fossils, helping scientists date rock layers worldwide. Now, let's journey to Alnif, a remote village where the past is a livelihood. Here, the Divonian era Tafalalt Basin's fossil rich limestone yields trilobites preserved in stunning detail. But why Morocco? 380 million years ago, this region was a shallow sea. When trilobites died, rapid sediment burial and mineral rich waters turned them into fossils, now exposed by erosion. Local miners, skilled in delicate extraction, unearthed these relics, fueling both science and a thriving market. Uncovering drotops is an art. After extraction, fossil preppers spend hours, or days, using air scribes and brushes to reveal delicate spines. One slip, and a 400 million year old specimen is lost. The result? Museum quality fossils prized by collectors. Yet debates linger are commercial digs harming scientific access? Many argue responsible trade supports local economies and raises awareness of Morocco's paleo heritage. Beyond their beauty, these fossils are scientific gold. Recent CT scans of Drotops reveal three decut structures, hinting at their diet. Their eyes, with hexagonal lenses, suggest they saw in low light, perfect for deep waters. Each discovery reshapes our understanding of evolution. And with Morocco's fossils accounting for 70% of global trilobite sales, Drotops fuels both curiosity and commerce. Today, Drotops armatus isn't just a fossil, it's a bridge between past and present. Museums like the Natural History Museum of Marrakesh showcase these trilobites as ambassadors of Morocco's ancient oceans, while collectors trade them globally for thousands of dollars. But with fame comes responsibility. Some fear overharvesting could deplete rare specimens, while others advocate for sustainable practices, like reserving key fossils for research. Meanwhile, educators use drotops to spark wonder in budding paleontologists, proving that these creatures aren't just relics, they're tools for inspiring future generations. Projects are now underway to balance preservation and profit. Moroccan universities partner with miners to document finds, and 3D scanning lets researchers virtually dissect fossils without damaging them. For travelers, Alnif's annual fossil festival invites hands-on learning, blending tradition and science. Whether in a lab, a classroom, or your living room, Drotops reminds us that Earth's history is alive, if we choose to protect it. Remember, each Drotops armatus is a time capsule from an ocean long gone. Whether you're a collector, scientist, or simply curious, these fossils connect us to Earth's epic saga. Got questions? Drop a comment below. If you enjoyed this deep dive, hit like, subscribe, and join us next time as we explore another marvel of the ancient world. Until then, keep digging, wondering, and discovering.